Hey Alma Recipe here, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to share with you guys three different ways you guys can use a roasting chicken. So I'm gonna share with you guys how to make rice chicken soup, chicken tacos, and burrito. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. So vamos a empezar. To make the chicken broth for the soup, you'll need chicken bones, two and a half liters of water, one tablespoon of salt, half an onion, one bell pepper, two sticks of celery, and three garlics. You also need one cup of rice, two cups of water, two tablespoons of oil, a quarter of an onion, three tomatoes, a bunch of cilantro, one teaspoon of cumin, and some chicken. For the tacos, you need chicken, tortillas, cheese, pico de gallo, and salsa optional. For the burrito, you need chicken, tortillas, and guacamole, and pico de gallo. I'm gonna start by making my bread, and I'm gonna preheat two and a half liters of water to make my bread. You know, sometimes when you buy chicken and you have a whole chicken, you don't know what to do. Well, but I for now I make chicken bread and it's very simple. I have all my whole bones. Just gonna put it in there and we're gonna cook it for one hour. You can cook it a little longer if you have time. I have the skin over here. Even this one because we wanted to take all the vitamins for the bones. I'm gonna use the chili, but I'm gonna use the seeds. So this is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna add to my bread. So now that I'm putting my chicken here, I'm gonna add my three garlics, my two stick um, celery, and I take the seed out of my uh, bell pepper, so I'm just gonna put it there. I'm gonna uh, have an onion, one tablespoon of salt, and that's it. I am going to cook a medium heat. Uh, minimum, you can cook it for one hour. If you have more time, you can cook it a little bit low, more time in a lower heat. In the meantime, we're gonna keep moving along because we're going to make rice chicken soup. Now I'm gonna cook my rice for 15 minutes, medium heat. I'm just gonna add two cups of water. And this is all for the soup. I'm gonna make this together, but right now I'm just gonna try to cook the rice. Cover up. And then maybe once or twice I can just come and stir it. You're gonna leave it first for medium heat until it's still boil. When it's still boil, you're gonna lower the heat. It's been five minutes and I start cooking my rice. As you can see, it's already boiled. So I'm gonna stir. I'm gonna lower the heat all the way lower. Just cover it back. And then way back and turn it up. Okay guys, so it's been 15 minutes and I start my rice and my rice is done. As you can see, now I'm just gonna turn it up and then just leave it on my soup. But this is how it looks right now. It's still not even boiled, but it's doing good. So we still have like 45 minutes. So we're gonna cut the ingredients that we need for the soup. And the mint and I have everything over there ready. So what I'm telling you to make this soup takes like one hour. So let's cut and cut the paper. So pepper, so we're gonna cut in a little squares. As small as you want. If you don't like bell pepper, you can skip it. And we're gonna cut in small little squares. So now I'm gonna be cutting my quarter on onions and small squares too. And I'm gonna be cutting my tomatoes. I always wanna take this part. We're gonna cut like a small square. It doesn't have to be like really particular because we are going to fry this one. I'm just gonna use half a breast for the chicken and I'm just gonna cut it on like little squares. And if you don't have any chicken left over, you can just don't add any chicken. So it's been 40 minutes since I've been cooking my bread and I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna start assembling my soup and that's just how it looks. So I'm gonna use two tablespoons of oil. You can use any oil you have. I'm gonna let it preheat for maybe one minute, all depends how high you heat it is. The first thing I'm going to start is by adding my onions. We're like gonna let it here like for two minutes. So now that I've been cooking my onions for two minutes, see they caramelized, and now I'm gonna add my tomato. I've been cooking my tomatoes for five minutes, as you can see. I'm gonna add one teaspoon of cumin. Let it cook for a little bit. My bell peppers, and now I'm gonna let it cook for another two to three minutes. Okay guys, so I'm gonna put my soup together. I have my chicken bread here, it's still on, so I'm gonna just turn it up. And I have my rice here. I cook my bell peppers for three minutes until they kind of soften up. 
And I'm gonna be adding between five and six cups of um, chicken broth. And if you don't wanna make the chicken soup right away, you can also frozen the chicken broth. I'm gonna add six, and I'm still gonna have a little leftover. And this one is pretty much done. We only gonna let it cook for five minutes. And sometimes it's gonna be a little thicker. If you think it's a little thick, but when it cool down, you can just add a little bit more chicken broth. And the last thing to add is the cilantro. And to this point, I didn't add any salt because I put the salt over there, but I'm gonna just taste it, see how it tastes. And then I think it tastes pretty good. I don't think so, it needs any more salt. This is a good time to add the chicken. My soup is done, so it's been five minutes. I'm just gonna turn it up, and that's it. It's ready to eat. To make the taco, the only thing we're gonna do to start to prepare the, the chicken, we're gonna need quarter an onion. We're gonna chop it in a small pieces too. Two tablespoons of oil. I'm preheating my oil for two minutes and I'm gonna add some onions again. This is paprika, but also you can use chili powder. Either one works. Add it here and kinda put it for a little bit so it releases the flavor. Just leave it like a couple seconds. Put in my chicken and it's a good way to heat it up. And probably just gonna cook it for maybe three to five minutes, not very long. For my pico de gallo, I'm gonna start by chopping my onions. And we need like a quarter of an onion. All depends how much pico de gallo you're going to make, but I'm using a quarter of an onion. And I'm gonna use three tomatoes, half a lime. So I'm gonna preheat my comal. As you can see, I can feel the heat, so I'm just gonna preheat my tortillas. So I'm gonna add a little bit of oil, not too much, just a little bit. And the same this one, I'm just gonna switch this tortilla this size. And if you don't have any comal, you can use a pan. Okay guys, so now that I'm preheating, we wanna make sure first we preheat the tortillas and then I'm gonna add my cheese. When it's time melting, you can just put the tortilla. The same thing until with whatever, how many tacos you want to make. Just do the same thing. I have my tortillas. I'm just going to assemble. You can put as many chicken you want. Um, I have pico de gallo here. I didn't put the chile in the pico de gallo because some people don't like spicy, but you can definitely put some chile. Also, you can make another way if you don't have pico de gallo, but just put a little bit of onions and a little bit of cilantro and a little bit of lime. I also have a video how to make salsa and how to make guacamole and how to make pico de gallo. This is optional too if you want to put some salsa. And there you have it. So there's the taco. They're ready to eat. Very easy. Very simple. So I'm going to use a green onion. Just going to chop this thing. One green onion be good for our two avocados. So now that I have all of these things ready. Just gonna cut my avocado. And I think it's gonna be beautiful. See how beautiful it is? Scrape it little by little. Half a teaspoon of salt. Cilantro. And you just need very little cilantro. You don't need that much. I'm gonna preheat my tortilla. Now we can assemble a burrito and the first thing we wanted to put is the guacamole and put in the tortilla as much or as little as you want. This chicken is just the roasting chicken, just straight from the chicken. So we have the pico de gallo and if you want some salsa you could but I'm not going to add any spicy right now because I just choose not to. So what I'm going to do is just fold this size and this size and then we're just going to fold it. And then there you have my burrito. There you have it guys, three different ways you can use a roasting chicken. So hopefully that inspire you guys and give you some ideas. Hopefully you enjoy and hasta la vista.